What do you have with our spirit? Um, what do I have? I mean, it, it's, it's, the piece is more like, what do you have with yourself? <laughs> it's more the question. I mean, I'm addressing people's assumptions about me and trying to, like, adopting the voice of the critic is what I do. What people assume about me when they see me, I'm doing it. I'm like, is that what you think? Okay, well, I'll give it to you. Or will I? You know, sort of playing with people's expectations of a, of a, of a girl of a certain scale, of a certain size. I was collecting images, I mean, materials uh, that express certain things I identify with or people have identified with me. And one of them is an ice bear because once after a performance of uh, Rain in Amsterdam, doing repertory with parts, performing Rain, this guy comes up to me afterwards and says, uh, wow, it's so impressive. You're, uh, you're so tall and big and you're running around just as fast like the little ones and <laughs> dancing around. And usually the tall people are in the back, but you're all over the place. You're everywhere. You do, you do everything they do just like them. And I'm like, uh-huh. And he's like, and, and it looks so easy for you. You, you, you really move. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> wow, this is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> he says, can I say it plain? And I was like, I think you already did. <laughs> and he says, you're like an ice bear that dances like a swan. And I was like, I was just speechless in front of the kid. This sort of tension between the fleshiness, like the physical uh, sort of the physical experience and the sort of affective relationship to movement that we have next to the very literal language, song, character, persona, the literal ways of understanding a person in front of you um, were kind of, I was trying to play, play with the interaction between those two things. of the working inside of these questions of performer, these questions of how I am perceived and how I can manipulate that, and materials arrived by different means. And so the Patsy Cline is not about Patsy Cline at all, actually. It doesn't matter. It's not country music. It could be any song. It just happens to be a song that goes up at the end of each step. So I use it to work on something which is about scale, which is about pushing the limits completely and going more than you can. <laughs> 